A very good morning to you. It is the 1st of September 2020 and this is your friend Angus Buchan with a thought for the day. If we look at Psalm 46 and verse 10, the word of God states, Be still and know that I am God. You and I must exude the presence of Jesus Christ in our lives. The world is desperate for peace, for reassurance that all will be well. And they cannot find it because everywhere they look, they see empty promises from politicians, from businessmen, from leaders. There is no peace to be found. But Jesus says in the Gospel of John chapter 14 and verse 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid. Do you know that I've got a horse by the name of Snowy and that horse knows when I am not at peace. That's the honest truth. He knows when I'm agitated because when I get on his back, he can feel it and that makes him agitated and then it becomes difficult. A baby crying. Sometimes you look at mama and mama is very stressed out. The baby can sense it and the baby gets very upset. A person who has got no time for animals or children or old people is someone who is sadly missing out and often found to be very stressed in the true meaning of life. We've got to be good ambassadors for Jesus. I remember like it was yesterday preaching the gospel in Ireland just outside Dublin. There was a large hall. It was full of beautiful Irish people. I love the Irish, by the way. After I preached the message, I made an invitation for people to come to the front. And it was a very, very hot evening. There was no air conditioning in that place. The people started pressing to the front of the platform. I think there was over a thousand of them. And right in the front was a young mother with a little baby. That baby could have only been six months old, maybe a little bit older. And as I was about to pray, the baby started crying and the crying increased and the mother was very embarrassed. She didn't know what to do. She couldn't move. She was boxed in with all the people pushing her from behind. The little baby's face got red and it was howling as only babies can do. Remember, I'm a grandfather and I love babies. I felt the Holy Spirit tell me, bend down and pick up the child. That is sometimes a dangerous thing to do with somebody else's baby. I bent down and I said to the young lady, give me the baby. She gave me her baby. I picked the baby up and I could see the baby was thirsty. I asked for some water. This is while everybody is waiting to pray that prayer. They gave me one of those bottles, a brand new bottle of water with a little cap on the top. And I gave this baby some water to drink. And the baby was absolutely quiet. I continued with the service, walking up and down, holding this beautiful child. And they told me afterwards, every time I was waving my hand around with the bottle in my hand, the little face was following me. <laughs> and I'd give it another little drink, and then I'd carry on. Do you know that at the end of that meeting, I don't think anybody remembered the message that I preached. But they will never forget the peace that came upon that little child because it had love, it had something to drink, and its mother was totally peaceful. God bless you. Go out and bring the peace of Jesus to some desperate person today. Goodbye.